Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the covenant converts of Kuda's Kitchen capture the keep atop the mud hill on the eastern restless shore. KOTT News were unable to catch Kuda leadership after their victory as their armies immediately retired to celebrate for the evening. The heavyweight champs extend their never fall streak to 14, moving them into first place on the all time never fall list. But how far can they take it from here? Only 30 days remain for the season four Eternal Frost reward track. Citizens still have time to complete all their activity cards and get to 100 if they are diligent in knocking out a couple items and using their free boxes strategically. Two submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Tonight, the Covenant hero worshippers of Outcast assail the syndicate members of Fresh Bench for control of the island's primary oil reserves in Weaver's Fen. Outcast, seeking to regain some ground, take another shot at the Swamp People, hoping to acquire the Peat Moss Bog and its abundant oil and leather supplies. But Fresh Bench has been holding their ground against the Outcasts in their marshlands to the south. The change in scenery really shouldn't impact their defenses. Meanwhile, the Syndicate members of Tropical attack the Zealots of Waffle House Company for control of the rain-drenched mountain region of Morningdale. Tropical know that if they don't take the fight to Waffle House, that the house will come after them. So they're taking the show on the road to make the first move. Waffle House, slightly surprised by the sudden appearance of Citrus in their gloomy retreat to the north, but they still have the strength to put up a fight before the scurvy slows them down. We'll have any late-breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.